It takes a certain type of passion and single-mindedness to have a career as an engagement specialist. But it's always about staying focused on the objectives that you're trying to achieve. These can range from having a fashion retailer pay living wages across their supply chain to having a financial institution decarbonize their loan book. These are qualities that our engagement specialist team have in bucket loads. And importantly, they're passionate about what they do. Just take a look. Working in the uh, investment industry is never a dull moment, never the same day when you uh, enter the office and start your work. I know that if I talk to the CEO of a very big oil and gas company, that I really can make a change there. Yeah, for Rubico as an investor, this is pretty awesome because here that is what real uh, investment is about. The money that we invest in the company really talks. And we really try to challenge each other's views and the way that they approach different engagement objectives to really remain sharp, as Sylvia said, and make sure that you know, uh, you also get like a different perspective into the work that you do and take that into account when you further draft your strategy with that company. When I was a little girl, I actually grew up in Latin America and I saw a lot of social injustice around me and I knew that I wanted to work in a field where I could really have an impact and I could really help to tackle important societal issues like uh, poverty, uh, gender inequality and so on. And that's basically what I do on, a day, on my daily basis. What really makes me uh, wake up is having great people around me uh, that inspire me and that, uh, that really makes me better, but I hope I can return that favor to them as well. Our investments, you can measure every single day if we're doing better than the competition or if we're losing against them. And I think this is something that is really driving me and that I find so inspiring with working with my colleagues at Rubico. There is sometimes a tension between what's best on the long term and what may, maybe is most profitable in the short term. And, and that is, I think, where we can really bring in that, that critical body to, to challenge their views. So I have two recipes here that, that really help. So on the one hand, it's really sort of the drive to make that impact. And on the other hand, it's my green smoothies that I bring to work every day that really keep me powered until the end of the day. Laura, Peter, Sylvia, it's been lovely talking to you. Thank you so much for your insights. It was lovely to be here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, so Erica. Active ownership and engagement is a long-term game. And short-term results can be hard to come by. But we've found that by asking the right questions and by staying persistent and consistent, we can achieve behavioural change at the companies in which we're invested. And that is key to our engagement approach. Thank you so much for watching.